Hi everyone, my name is Cristina Frade and I'm going to present the paper called Factors Associated with the School Performance of Spanish Students, a study based on PISA 2018 data. This is what we are going to talk about. First of all, this thesis project is part of the research project Effective Schools for the Improvement of the System, directed by Professors Maria José Rodríguez Conde and Susana Olmos Miguel Áñez, and funded by the Ministry of Science and Innovation of the Government of Spain. The aim of this project is to demonstrate the difference in student performance between schools. To do so, we start by determining the factors associated with the school performance of 15 and 16 year old students based on PISA 2018 data. This thesis continues the line of research initiated in previous projects developed by the Interaction and E-Learning Research Group, GRIAL, of the University of Salamanca. As we said, we base this study in PISA data. PISA is a large-scale assessment test developed by the OECD. These tests are nowadays highly relevant in the field of education, with many people telling arguments in their favour, but also against them. We need to clarify that we mean by academic performance and what we mean by school effectiveness. Academic performance is understood as the results obtained by students in the different assessment tests, considering different fact factors related to the students and their context, and uh, school effectiveness is the set of good practices carried out by the schools to achieve a higher academic performance than expected regarding their contextual characteristics. We start our research from the premise that sociodemographic context factors that have the greatest influence on performance are gender, immigration background, grade repetition and school ownership. To test whether this is true or not, we develop one multilevel statistical model for each competence studied – reading, science and maths. The variables we are going to include in this analysis are the ones that we can see in this table and we separate the variables of the students, of the school and of the teacher's characteristics. So, the research problem we pose is to know the good practices that are carried out in schools with a high effectiveness value. This high effectiveness appears when there is a positive difference between the expected performance of the students and the actual performance obtained. This thesis aims to generate a common framework of good educational practices related to school effectiveness. To this end, we set three specific objectives. To detect high and low effectiveness schools in Castilla y León and Andalusia based on the results of the PISA tests to generate a model for analysing school effectiveness in Spain that can be replicated in an international context and to design and implement training and innovation models adapted to various educational centres in order to promote school effectiveness. In order to achieve these objectives, we proposed a mixed approach combining quantitative and qualitative methodologies. Quantitative for analysing PISA data and qualitative for analysing interview data. Our sample is made by 976 schools, more than 34,000 students and almost 20,000 teachers. We are not going to include in the analysis the variables with more than 20% of missing values, so we delete the percentage of teachers in the school with PhD studies. After this, we will input the missing values for schools and teachers variables, and in this table we can see the final variables for developing the statistical models. These are the variables of the models for each competence. Each model explains a certain percentage of the difference in performance at the school level and, as we see, many variables are common to all the models, looking at the student level, that 5, and looking at the school level, the 2 we can see here. After developing the multilevel models, we select high and low effectiveness schools by using the residuals and we obtain the next results. In this case, we obtain 184 high effectiveness schools in Spain, 202 low effectiveness schools. In Castilla y León, there are 20 high effectiveness and 6 low effectiveness schools. And in Andalucía, we have 8 high effectiveness and 11 low effectiveness schools. We are now starting the qualitative phase and almost finishing the quantitative one. 
this research work is funded through the project FSA's Effective Schools for the Improvement of the Systems. This project is funded by the Ministry of Economy and Competitiveness, co-financed with ERDF funds, and the work is carried out under a grant for predoctoral contracts for the training of doctors funded by the Ministry of Science and Innovation. Finally, it should be noted that this doctoral research is carried out in the University of Salamanca PhD program on education in the knowledge society. Thank you very much.